Remember life before keyboards? We had pens. You wrote on a piece of paper with a liquid and it dried. This works because solvent from the ink evaporates and leaves a polymer containing pigment on the paper. These inks tend to use solvents, such as benzyl alcohol or phenoxyethanol, to enable fast drying. Scale this up to an industrial solvent-based ink or coating, and the principle is exactly the same. But rather than your pen applying the ink, there is a large printing press doing it. The various solvents in these industrial inks are known as VOCs, volatile organic compounds. And this is something that the world is trying to reduce. We don't want to breathe in these compounds. Many are flammable and some also aggravate climate change as they can act as greenhouse gases. Everyone in the industry is trying to help. VOC reduction in solvent-based inks is a continual development and there are also water-based alternatives which can substantially reduce CO2 emissions. However, the drying of these conventional inks can take large amounts of energy as it is hard to evaporate water and low VOC solvents. The ovens also take up a lot of space. So what is the alternative? Energy curing inks, of course. These are usually dried, or in fact cured, with ultraviolet or electron beam energy and are sometimes referred to as 100% solids. Yes, it is initially liquid, but this term means there is no water or solvent needed to evaporate, and so they are free of VOC. Curing, using standard mercury vapour UV light, is much more energy efficient than conventional inks, and now, with the development of LED UV lamps, it got even better. Calculations show that for an average printing press, changing to LED can eliminate 7 tonnes of CO2 and give a 46% total energy saving when compared to the most energy efficient mercury arc systems in the market. As we mentioned, these UV inks and coatings are 100% solids. What you put down is what you get. OK, it shrinks a little bit. This means you can put less ink onto the substrate compared to solvent-borne or water-based inks, which lose all that water and solvent during the drying process. With UV systems, you are also not paying for product that disappears into the sky. Putting less ink down also means a smaller dot and better dot definition, thus a better quality print. It's also not just inks and coatings that can benefit from UV curing. UV curing can be utilised in many different applications, including adhesives, composites, dental, fingernail coatings, electronics and 3D printing. And all these applications benefit from near-instant curing by UV. This means that you can run at faster speeds and thus increasing production quantities and reducing costs further. In addition to all that, UV curing units are small and compact, thus reducing the size of the whole printing press. Saving space means money on rent and heating, as well as minimising construction material, and that means better sustainability. Moving from conventional inks, coatings and adhesives to energy curing inks not only leads to lower production costs, but also a lower overall carbon footprint. It makes sense and helps our planet. To recap, energy curing ink means fewer emissions of air pollutants, reduced energy requirements, lower CO2e footprint, elimination of large oven type dryers, faster curing, less waste, less space, lower ink deposit, higher ink mileage. Rethink Ink. Think UV.